everyone my name is Janika and welcome to this video today is the day when we are moving to The Hague so yeah we are moving into our temporary apartment where we're gonna be living for the next four to six months so four months is the minimum and six months is the maximum so we'll see how long we end up staying there depending on how long it takes for us to find a more long-term apartment but we shall see for the past month we've been living with Rol's parents in North Brabant and I'm currently trying to pack up the stuff that I have here so at the moment it's looking quite chaotic today I am going to get the keys and I'm doing it most likely alone because Rol has to work today so the plan is to today only pack enough stuff for one week next weekend we're gonna come back here and then move the rest of the stuff with a car which is a bit easier the plan is to only bring this pink suitcase this is actually already packed these are clothes that have to wait until next week i'm afraid and i still need to pack my smaller backpack gonna finish up this and then it's time to head towards the train station and to The Hague, my new home city, I guess. just received the keys and moved in to our new home where we'll be living for the next four to six months here in The Hague and um, yeah here's a little sneak peek of what it looks like today I think I'll just be settling in a bit we need to go grocery shopping like we need things like toilet paper and trash bags and soap and food <laughs> like basic things because we have nothing and um, yeah, unpack the stuff that we brought today and stuff. And then I think tomorrow I'll give you guys a proper tour of this apartment. I thought that I could now give you guys a bit of a tour of this place. First, when you come in, this is the view you see. It's a bit overcast today, so it looks maybe a bit gray. And here to your left, right by the door, is our bathroom. So we have the toilet and shower separately, which is great. And then over here, we have our dining table. This is like a two bedroom apartment, so in this room we have both the kitchen and living room. I quite like the kitchen, it's very modern. It has all the necessary things such as a dishwasher and an oven. There's quite a big fridge, which is quite empty at the moment. And we also have quite a big freezer, which is really nice. And then over here we have like this coffee machine that came with the apartment. I don't personally drink coffee, but my boyfriend Rul does. In here we have the cupboards. So yeah, there's plates and mugs and a bowl and there's even wine glasses and champagne glasses. In this apartment they really have all the basic things that you need, which is really nice. It also comes with utensils. They also gave us like some towels to use. Um, there's scissors, knives. There's only one pan though, but um, there's a cutting board and three different pots. So there's enough pots at least. It looks uh, pretty nice, I think. It also came with a big trash can, which is great because I have noticed that trash cans are surprisingly expensive to buy. And here we have like the living room situation. There's quite a big coffee table and quite a big and quite comfortable couch, I must say. There's also a little chair and a lamp. <laughs> and then we have here this like yeah, decoration wall, I guess. I'm not sure what I think about all these monkeys and stuff. We'll uh, see what to do with those. We're thinking about maybe changing it up a bit and 
adding things like books instead maybe. Let's see, we just have to see a bit how much weight it can take. Here we have a bit of a random spot. <laughs> it's kind of ugly. At the moment, we're kind of using this space just as a space for things where we don't know where to put stuff. Let's see what we come up with this space. It's a bit of a, at the moment it feels a bit like wasted square meter. So we should somehow try and use this space efficiently. And then in here we come to our bedroom. Um, oh, <laughs> it looks a bit bumpy. Let me make it look a bit better. Oh, it doesn't look any much better. Well, now it does maybe a bit. Here's the bedroom. The bed was quite comfortable. I liked it. And then over here we have our closet. It's not huge, but at least for now it works. Looks like this from the inside. Then over here we have some drawers. I already emptied all my stuff that I brought with me yesterday. In here is the other bathroom. So here is where we have like our shower and stuff. And this is cool, this lightning, by the way. I think that looks really cool. But um, let's put it properly on. We have like a towel rack and it's nice because we have more storage space here. A nice mirror and then our shower. I haven't tested it out yet, so I don't know what the water pressure is like, but it seems like quite a proper like shower head and stuff. So probably later today I'll get to test this out and see if it's a good shower or not. That's pretty much the apartment. Ooh, also, wait, let me show you one more thing. We have the keys down the hallway in our apartment as well. There's something important to show. So you walk like this and then over here, we have this room. So in here we have a washing machine and a dryer and things that you can iron with. And there's also like a vacuum cleaner. So this like washing room we share with the other apartments that are on the same level. So we are on the second level and there's also another level below us and there they have another room like this and they have their own that they share and um yeah also the vacuum cleaner is to share let's see maybe we'll buy our own at some point but at least for now i think this is quite a working solution so yeah that's a great addition to this apartment i would say that's pretty much our apartment I think it's quite nice, it has all the basic things that you need, but yeah, we're gonna be living here for at least four months, so I do think we're gonna be doing some tweaks. I think the only rule is that you're not allowed to hang anything on the walls, and of course not to destroy anything, but otherwise you're allowed to change things up. One thing we would like to do is try and fit a desk in here, so we were thinking maybe we could move that chair and that lamp somewhere else. The rule also said maybe we could put a desk here but i feel like that's maybe a bit depressing to work here but then another thing we would really like is to bring our tv here but as you can see with the current layout there's not really space for a tv yesterday we were trying to think like how could we make it work so we have an idea that we're going to try out i'm not sure if it's going to work but our idea is to actually take the couch off the wall and flip it and put the couch like here instead and then also flip the table so it takes less space and then we could have the TV against the wall. We would of course have to also buy like some kind of TV cabinet or something. For today's mission, I actually have to buy a flower vase. So that'll be the first addition to our new apartment. So then we can have some fresh flowers here, which would be really nice. And um, yeah. So for today's agenda is to buy that vase. Luckily we live really close to the city center or in the city center. So there should be a bunch of shops really nearby. Then I need to do some groceries. We already bought some things yesterday, toilet paper and soap and salt and some really basic things. But otherwise our cabinets and fridge are quite empty. So I wanna buy some like basic food things. Breakfast today is gonna be extremely simple because we don't have much. I have bread, I have butter. I have eggs. Another thing we really need to buy for this apartment is another frying pan because I feel like one is not gonna be enough. Maybe we need to buy two more pans actually. <laughs>
coffee right now because I'm literally... So why did we move into a temporary apartment and not just a regular one? Well, there are several reasons for this. First of all, we've just been traveling for more than half a year. Before we left, we pretty much sold almost everything that we own. So we have no furniture. Rul already has a job that he had the first day yesterday and also the moving day was yesterday. It was just so nice to be able to move into a place where everything is ready because if we would now be moving into an empty apartment with nothing and having to start completely from scratch and from the beginning this gives us the chance to settle in a bit in the regular life again to start working just get used to a bit more of an everyday life again and then we can slowly start buying things already for the next place getting an apartment that's temporary apartment versus a long-term apartment had a bit less criteria than a long-term place has so it was a little bit easier to get but it was still quite a challenge and surprisingly difficult. I thought it would be easier. We applied for like 30 places and this place was the only place that let us do a viewing. Luckily, we in the end, last minute, ended up finding and getting this place. I don't really know much about the different neighborhoods here. This will give us a bit of an opportunity to explore the whole city and go to the different neighborhoods and see what we like, get familiar with it without having to already decide and commit to an apartment for a longer time. Downside, however, when moving in to a place like this is that it's more expensive than a regular apartment. So what we pay is 1,650 euros per month for rent, which I know is quite a lot. I have never paid that much rent before in my life. Luckily, we are two people, so we can share it, but still it is not very cheap. But then again, right now we don't need to put money into buying furniture we can do that then later on so yeah it has its pros and cons in conclusion even though this was a more expensive option in the end this ended up being easier and more convenient and like faster and just more suitable for our needs right now so um, yeah if you do have any questions regarding that please feel free to leave a comment Now back in the apartment and I'll show you guys quickly what I bought. Nothing super exciting, but anyway. <laughs> I found a shop I'd never been there before called like this. It was this shop, Sustrene Grenes. And I found a vase for really, really cheap. What did it cost now again? Three euros. Looks like this. It's very basic. I don't want to buy anything like with crazy colors and stuff because I don't know what our next apartment will look like and what the color scheme and vibes there will be. So I want to try and buy things that are a bit neutral. Still missing the flowers, but we should be getting them a bit later. Then I went to Albert Hein as well and bought some things. I bought these like baking sheets for the oven. Dish brush. I know we have a washing machine, but sometimes it is just easier to wash things by hand. With it, I also bought like stuff to wash the dishes with a cucumber and i bought some cherry tomatoes i bought 
some fish, sesame oil, soy sauce. These are things I use quite often. Black pepper, so now we have salt and black pepper. I know I need to do some proper spice shopping at some point, but this shall do for now. I bought some apples and some like alcohol wipes and feta cheese. I think that's it. I'm gonna put this away now, then the afternoon I'm gonna spend editing. So nothing too exciting. Yeah, okay, this pan that came with the apartment is not so good, so definitely need to get a better one because the fish is all destroyed because it keeps getting stuck, so annoying. Yesterday we brought in some more stuff from Rolls parents place. We did bring in some small personal items and things that we already have and that we realized that we will be needing in this apartment. Today's project is going to be to empty the things that we brought in and find a place for everything. What do we have in here? Spatulas and stuff. This will become very handy because there's only a few here. We have an internet cable. I don't think we need that just yet. And we have this thing where to hide cables. So I think these two things are going to be used once we have the desk. Here's also a photo. It's very dusty right now. I need to clean it. But here's a photo of me and my brother when we were children. So I need to find a spot for these somewhere. Then I have this Swedish horse. Decoration, I'll find some nice spot for that. I brought a few books with me. I have a whole box full of books, but I just brought a few for me to read for the coming months. One random sock. <laughs> How did this end up here? this so in here i have my makeup some hygiene products in these three things i have all my jewelry in here i have things like skincare hair care perfume soap some shaver blades then in this basket i have things like my deodorant nail polish hair ties and yeah there wasn't enough space so i had to put these two on top of each other in the little basket underneath i have things like medicine insect spray and a thermometer and that kind of stuff so yeah everything now has a very clear spot on where everything belongs oh and yeah one last thing my hairbrush fits perfectly there I went quickly to this store. This store is really good. I just recently discovered it. The prices are very budget friendly. 
So uh, yeah, what I bought, I bought these hangers because we only have like a few and it's not enough at all. So now I bought 12 more. Let's hope this will be good enough. And then I also bought this little thing. And my idea is to put like spatulas and stuff in here like this. Because currently they're in the drawer and this just looks very cluttered and they barely fit in there. So yeah, this should make it look a little bit nicer. And voila!